Hey everybody, what's up today? Today, now we're we're not going to be spending the day on the on the water today, enjoying this beautiful boat. Instead, we're going to be making it sound better. Stick around, show you what we have. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for sticking around. It's kind of a wet day out here today. Got a lot of rain, some thunder. But that's not gonna dampen our mood today because we have a real nice Yamaha boat here that we're putting a stereo into. As you can see, it's kind of taking up a lot of space in the shop here, but we'd expect a 19 foot boat and a trailer and everything else. So, however, we're gonna make you sound better. We have a sound bar that's going into it. We have a powered sub. We have an amp to run the highs. We have a dual battery kit going in. So we've got a lot of stuff to do today. So first up, we have this sound bar here. It is a Power Sports Amplified sound bar, 500 watts max. And there it is here. You can see it has the, the controls there for your volume, mode, lights. It has lights on the front. And we're going to be mounting that to the bar that we have folded down right now. We'll stand that up and get it mounted up there. Run the wires inside the bar. And uh, see if we can't make it look and sound like it's supposed to. Then we have the powered sub. We're going to tuck underneath one of the consoles. We've got a dual battery kit, and then we have a Wet Sounds amplifier, the HTX4, that is going to be powering the four six and a half inch Wet Sounds speakers that are already installed. So we got a long day. We got a lot of work. It's going to be busy. Hopefully, this is a video you guys enjoy, and uh, we're going to get started. So stick around, grab some popcorn, get some pop. Enjoy, sit back, enjoy this, and I'll see you in a minute. All right, so here we are. We have the Sand Extreme sound bar. It's a SED S32. Uh, like I said, it was 500 watts max. Has your LED lights on the front, has some speakers here, has speakers on the side, speakers on the front, your whole control panel with a USB plug, the power, you have your main power wire in. You have an auxiliary power out, which we in this installation we won't be using. So I'm going to put some heat shrink over that just to make sure it stays watertight. We have our auxiliary out, which you would use in this case. We're going to use it to the powered sub. And we have our auxiliary in, which is going to be coming straight off of the, the radio itself. So that's our, all the connections we have. The, to mount it, we have the ring terminals or the rings on the end. They go on, there's a bunch of teeth. It locks in place and then we lock in place with four of these Phillips head screws. Then it's ready to go up to the bar and be mounted. Once we get the screws in, Once we get everything here all secured, and by having those teeth there, as it's tightened down, it locks in place and it's not going to roll, rotate, come loose or anything. It's going to hold it right there in place. I'm just, I just have it set there for now, straight up and down. I can adjust it later if needed. Then we have these hose clamps that are going to go around this bracket, which will go around the roll bar. And then we also have this little rubber strip that goes on the inside of the, the clamp here, which is going to be used to keep from pitting, chipping, scratching up the roll cage. 
we just got to trim it down to the right size of what's needed put this up in place we also have a rubber isolator isolator pad right here that'll go right there as well so that way there's that's not going to rattle it's not going to scratch the, the roll cage especially with the rubber here too it won't everything will be nice solid vibration proof and ready for hours of music enjoyment so i'm going to go up there we're going to get this thing put in place and i'll show you what we have done stick around all right we haven't mounted our sound bar yet don't want to get too wet outside right at the moment still got lots to do on the inside of this thing so first we got to take this radio out because this is the main unit everything else is done through touch screen up behind the the dash so to get this out there's a couple of panels on the side this one i already loosened off a little bit you can see there's a little indent right there that you have to carefully pull outwards and then there's two little tabs that go into some two matching holes on the side Let's see if we can do this on this one here I'm just using a small flathead screwdriver to get in underneath the panel and carefully wedge it out a little bit. And then once I can get the top, then I got a little pick tool that I'm just going in and uh, pulling out the rest of it. And just like that, we have access to our four screws. There we go, and this here, you should carefully pull right out, just like this. And now that we have this loosened off, we do have to go inside the back because there's something there holding me back from being able to take the whole thing out. But uh, that's easily done. All you do is you open up this rear step. Just like that. And then there's a whole mess of screws the whole way around. And then you carefully lift up on this. And in there is where the radio backing is. So I'm going to get up there. I'm going to take the figure out what's holding me back, get it taken out, and then we'll show you how we're gonna wire things up from there. So stick around, here we go. All right, thanks for sticking around everybody. We have figured out how we're gonna do this. We're gonna wire up this radio to our four channel amp. On the back here, we have zone one, zone two, zone one sub, and zone two sub. We're not using the zone two sub, but we are using the zone one and two because that gives us a four channel output and then we have our zone one sub which is right here this orange one that is going to be the one that goes to our powered sub that's going to be installed here in a little bit in the meantime we have our speed wire right here which has all your speaker wires and remote on wire included we're going to use this tap it into the harness that's here that goes straight to the factory or to the wet sound speakers that are in the v boat already and then we're going to have our remote on wire hooked up into the harness here as well and uh, that's going to go to the amp and that'll be where we go next to get that installed so that way we can get some speakers working and uh, and then work on getting the powered sub going so stick around you're going to see me work twice as fast here trying to make some connections i wish i could work that fast all the time but you know how it is perfection takes time 
So, that's enough of my jokes. So here we go, let's get this started. As you just saw, we were doing some soldering on some wires. You saw me soldering the speed wires. So now they're all zip tied, heat shrunk. There's the harness up in there. I know it might be a little hard to see. There's the wire that goes across. And it goes up through there, which is going to go up underneath the left side seat. That's where we're going to put the amp. The second battery, the battery secondary battery switch, and everything else. So, as you saw with the speed wire, it makes it easy because we ran all four speaker wires and the remote on wire at once in one nice little bundle. Real simple, easy to do, and we're good to go. So now we're going to get the amp mounted, get it wired, and work on that second battery, and see if we can't get some music back in this thing because. Where I had to cut the harness to hook up the speed wire, we got no sound now because it wants to come out with the amp. So we're gonna go hook that up and get the music playing again. So stick around, here we go. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Feeling like I'm on top of the world here on getting into this boat. But as you can see out there, the rain has stopped, which is wonderful because. We're just finishing up getting ready to mount the amplifier. Now, underneath our uh, left side, sorry if I'm not that big up on uh, port starboard bow or stern. I think it's the port side, which is left. If I'm wrong, someone correct me, please. Uh, however, in here is where we have our battery. We have all of our wires already coming through. We're going to tuck them right along the edge here. And I just finished making a plastic mount that I'm going to put the amplifier on. And that's going to mount right there, just like that. The terminals are going to be facing down. We'll be able to run the wires around, come down, and everything will be tucked out of the way. They won't lose much storage area in there and hopefully make everything sound even better because as you saw we got the, the speed wire already connected up there uh, it's all heat shrunk soldered and everything and then we have our rcas we got a big old mess of wires going here but it's all good so we're going i'm going to go grab the the amp get everything mounted up on there and uh, get wiring it and show you how we do that so stick around i'm going to enjoy kind of the sunny day it's still kind of humid but hey it's better than downpour rain so i will uh, we'll be right back all right here we are you saw me making the mount for the the amp and now i've got the amp mounted as you can see i've only got the power on the ground run right now they're going to go all the way up there to the battery of the boat, which we already saw. I'm going to have the speed wire coming down and coming in on this side to get to the, my two speakers and my turn on. And then we have the RCAs that are also going to come in and go up as well. And uh, once that's done, the amp will be mounted. We'll get this whole thing secured in place and we should have some tunes. So we're going to go throw this in the, that little cubby hole and see if we can't get it wired up. So I'll show you what we have going and go from there. One might think this is actually a pretty good view, don't you think? Sitting here in the back of a boat. On the downside, we're not on the water. Instead, we're still in the shop working on the amplifier. However, we have the amplifier mounted 
as you can see, I've got the power wire which goes to the left side, the RCA and speaker wires, they come to the right side, and now all i got to do is just zip tie up everything. There's stuff up there I can zip tie it too, so all that wire will be gone. And when they look in the tank, in this compartment, it'll be right there, and you still have all that left for doing whatever. Lots of storage space left over. And I think it looks pretty good there. So I'm going to go get some more zip ties. Get this wire hidden out of sight. And see if we can't get some power to this. So stick around. We'll be back. I'm going to pretend that I'm sitting on the water in the middle of a lake. Enjoying this boat ride. I'm not sitting here working all day. But hey, it's money, right? So stick around. We'll be right back. Hey everybody, thanks for sticking around. We have finished off the installation of the amp to run the, the six and a half wet sound speakers. As you saw, here's our left side seat. Still have to do a little clean up in there, but there it is, all finished. Wires all tucked out of the way. It's as solid in there as it's gonna get. Wiring's all tucked up out of sight. And it goes over here to the battery, which I've still got to put the dual battery kit into it. So we have a dual battery switch. But first, we're going to bring in our sub. Our wet sounds sub. It is a full, fully enclosed powered sub made by wet sounds themselves. 10 inch sub. I believe it's a 500 watt unit. As uh, your main powers, it has your, your power ground remote on, and then it has your inputs. Uh, so I'm going to get wiring them up, get that put in place, and see if we can't get a little bit more thump in this. Thing already sounds amazing. It's uh, you can feel the, the bass already going through these speakers and everything, and uh, you're not going to just sit there and talk to the person next to you, you're going to have to yell to them when you have it turned up as it is now. So, this is going to be an loud little boat. So stick around, we're going to get this put in place and uh, see where we go from there. Hey everybody, welcome to day two of this uh, boat build. As you saw yesterday, we were hooking up the amp, got everything wired into the radio, and everything's all hooked up for the wet sound six and a half that they came with. From the from the factory today we're gonna finish things off uh, I've already started mounting up the, the sound bar that's going on the top now we got to just poke a hole here in the bar run the wires all the way down and then down and under the seat to where the battery is then we can get some sound rocking through this and then once we get that done We've got our wet sounds powered sub to go in our little cubby hole. Then the dual battery kit and we'll be done. And the customer can take it out and enjoy the weekend out on the water and enjoy a nice wicked sounding stereo. So stick around. I'm going to get running some wires and uh, go from there. See if we can't get things finished. So here we go. Hey everybody, we're still continuing on here with this uh, nice wonderful Yamaha 195S boat. We just finished hooking up the sound bar and as you can see I just got to put a little zip tie there to keep that wire from moving. Looks good on this side. Looks nice there. You can see it goes up through here, transfers, goes all the way down through there. And comes in out under there and where the batteries go. I don't have it finished down there because I'm going to be hooking up a second battery. So I'm going to be moving a few wires around still. But uh, this boat is really starting to get loud. There's the four six and a halfs that are already in there by wet sounds. With the amp that's right there ready to go. That really really improved on the sound. And now this sound bar here just makes it even nicer. So 
Now we're going to move on to hooking up this powered sub that's in here from Wet Sounds. See if we can't get that thumping. And then get the second battery hooked up and we'll be good to go. I won't be enjoying the sunny day in the boat, but customer sure will be. So stick around. I'll show you what we get with the, the sub. Hey everybody. Thanks for sticking around this long. We are, we just finished up hooking up our, uh, our amp in our boat here. I see the amp. The Wet Sounds powered sub. We have tucked in right there. You can see the wire goes in there behind everything. And then it comes in, goes up and around to the battery. I'm not too worried about how the battery looks right yet because we're on to this. Our second battery, or dual battery kit. That way you can have two different batteries. One for music, one for running, or if he kills a battery from playing the music, he has a backup to, to start the motor. So, so far this boat, it sounds amazing. It's loud, clean, no problems. So we're gonna get this battery hooked up and see if we can't finish the job. So stick around, I'll show you how that goes. All right, so here is our battery switch we're gonna use. You can see it has uh, one, two, or one and two. It's uh, on the back, you have your two different inputs and your single low put. So we're just gonna hook the wire up to these inputs from each battery, have it go into the single low put, and run our grounds together, and that should give us our switchable batteries. So while I go roast some more in the back of this boat, because it's about 20 degrees out here today and direct sun like this. It's a little warm. You sit back with your air conditioning, have a drink, and uh, I'll be right back, show you what I've done. Hey everybody, thanks for sticking around. We just finished wiring up our dual battery and our dual battery switch. Haven't mounted it yet, but there's our battery. I've got to get that a little neater. And there's the wiring there. And you can see this wire comes off the second battery for input two. This is input one, which comes off our main battery. And then we have our main output going to the boat. I've already tested, powers up both sides. So we're good to go. So now all that's left is to mount that switch, clean up some wire, clean up a boat, and we're done. So stick around and we'll do a final recap here in a minute. The Yamaha 195S boat is done. I got a nice little tan looking at the reflection in this camera. But hey, it's all good. It's uh, sounding great. Those wet sound speakers are doing their job nicely. That powered sub, that makes, that fills in the bottom end nicely. And uh, putting amp on those was even great, even better. Just really, really brought them to life. Having that sound bar on the top there is a great idea too. It uh, really helps add the sound, especially if they're going to be towing somebody on a water ski, like he says he's probably going to be. So with that, he is more than happy with that install. It's uh, Some boats can be a real pain, but this one was actually a really nice one to work on. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video of me doing this. And I hope you click that subscribe button, drop a comment, hit the like button, and uh, see what else I have coming out here. I've got some more stuff being done, and uh, more stuff going to come up and be posted for you to watch, if you want to. I hope you do, but if not, well, I hope you enjoy the video you did watch. So, until next time, remember, stay warm and keep it loud.